All eyes are on lacrosse in the world of Division III football. The Eagles welcoming a highly touted foe to the Cooley region for their home opener. Maybe the best non-conference matchup of the season nationwide. 11th ranked UWL welcome, welcoming Harden Simmons to town who are ranked 6. Eagles with the ball first, a slow and methodical approach. Brant Bowman with a big run here to enter Cowboy territory. Now to finish the drive, third down in the red zone, Kaiser Helterbrand looking over the middle, he hits Jack Studer, makes four guys miss and into the end zone, opening drive touchdown for the home squad. The Cowboys forced to punt soon after, but if we're showing it to you, that means one of two things, and it's not the good one. Tyler Steubendick fields it, but Harn Simmons punches it out. They pounce on the fumble to take possession back, and they turn it into points. Noah Garcia, stiff arm as he cuts outside and he gets into the end zone. That's going to tie the game at seven. Then on the next drive for the Eagles, well, actually, it's the next play of the game. Helterbrand looking deep this time for Studer. He catches it. We'll check on the flag in a second, but he just keeps running. Looking for a second score of the day. Breaking away. Touchdown, lacrosse. That's going to make it 14 to 7 because that's a defensive hold. Obviously, you decline it, and the ruling on the field stands a 75 yard touchdown. Cowboys not phased, though. They tie it up again as the first quarter comes to a close. Score here for Colton Marshall. Next drive for UWL yields, well, basically the same result. Helterbrand keeps it himself. Looking end zone, touchdown for the senior signal caller. 21 14 at the break. Harden Simmons, though. Only needs two plays in 39 seconds to change that. Garcia zooms more than the camera does on this play, and everyone at the table has 21. And unfortunately, going over is how you win. The Cowboys just do just that. First and goal at the one. Into the end zone is Marshall again in what would be the final score of the game. From down seven to up seven in about 10 minutes, and the Eagles just couldn't find an answer after that. UWL drops this one 28 to 21, a great game, one that definitely had some major turning points. They get the ball at half, and, and so you hope that you can get a stop and get the ball back to your offense, and they score in two plays. I mean, obviously, that the back and the athletes that we saw were, were phenomenal football players, and we did a poor job. We let we started getting nervous about our tackling, so we, our form started to go. We put our eyes down. We stopped going for the football, started worrying about all that stuff, and it kind of caught up to us, but I thought we settled down in the fourth quarter defensively and able to change up a little bit of the fronts and kind of move our, our guys around to kind of slow them down. Uh, you know, football is kind of a game of momentum, and, we had in the first half, and it was kind of back and forth the whole time, and they kind of took it from us, and we ended up kind of going back and forth again in the second half with the momentum, and at the end of the day, they made one more play than we did. Next up for the Eagles is a road game against Northern Michigan, a Division II program that has won 16 games over the last six seasons.